All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I uh, finished off my PMA for this uh, wind turbine. I used a piece of plywood and uh, for the top piece and three um, all pieces of all thread to, uh, to allow adjustment of the, um, the magnets on top of the uh, stator. To uh, cover the top of wood, I used uh, basically a t-shirt, stretched it over, stapled it in place, and then fiberglassed it uh, to make a, a top for it to keep the rain from puddling up on top. Um, what I did find out with this is that the magnets are so strong that they actually warped the plywood. So now I'm having to uh, redesign the top plate out of steel or aluminum or something a lot strong. Alright, this is how I put together my uh, bridge rectifiers and my connection points. I used this heat sink that I had on hand from uh, my old truck. Um, I used the uh, heat sink compound to place on the back of the uh, bridge rectifiers so to make a nice connection to the heat sink the plate and then I marked all the uh, I marked the plate just to help uh, visualize all the connections and um, you know keep things sort of organized I did this for uh, both bridge rectifiers and this is uh, before I wire it and then this is after it's wired in. The one, two, three that you see are the uh, the inputs from the generator and the plus and the minus on the right are the uh, are to the uh, positive and negative terminal of the battery. Alright, I tested this setup on my uh, table here and the first way I tested it was with the uh, south and the north um, two plates attracting each other and I got the 7 volts spinning it and then I tried it the other way where the two light poles were on top of each other and as you can see only got 1 volt so that answered one of my questions is uh, what was the best way to uh, to put these things together so uh, with the plates on top of each other it should be the south pole or the north pole on the bottom and then the opposite pole above it alright it didn't take long with this humid weather and the uh, power of those uh, magnets uh, that the uh, plywood warped and pretty much put the brakes on this thing. So um, I'm going to have to basically make the same plate but make it out of aluminum or steel, uh, something that'll, uh, that'll handle the, uh, these magnets and uh, humidity here. Uh, it's hard to see from this video, but the, the, it actually warped the, uh, the edges of the plywood down just enough to, uh, to hit the brakes. All right, I'll keep you posted.